Okay. So I don't want to say doing the door in that bay was hard. But it was hard. Especially by yourself. That is definitely a two-person job. Um, otherwise, it went together pretty easily. One thing I... You know, all they, all they have is uh, visual picture directions. You see these little brackets down here. Where is it? Sorry. Those the bottom screws. They tell you to put all that together on the dome. And then the next step, they want you to attach these so they can attach it to your base. Well, that means now <laughs> I can take off all those bottom screws so I could put this on. And there is no screws with the kit to attach it to your deck, which is fine. I mean, I, I guess I can't provide everything, but I have to go get bolts to screw it into the floor. One of the things I, I didn't consider and I read up on it just a little bit. The mount is offset a little, and they all are, from the pier. Mine isn't too bad to worry about, but you want the RA and the DA access on the center of the dome, not necessarily the pier. But if, you, if I come over here, if you look, I set my, this is north that way, I set my uh, pier mount up to the north side, so I think I'm fine. The, the point I would want to have centered, let's see if I can point to it, is right there, and if you follow that down, that's the center of the pier, so I think I'm fine. If I didn't offset that, and that was quite by accident, to be honest with you, if I didn't offset that, then I would have to shift the dome that way because the RA and DA of the mount would be back here, and that would not be centered with the pier. So that's something to consider. I got lucky. And I don't think mine is going to be a problem if I completely center the dome around uh, the, the actual pier because it's already offset a few inches. Worst case scenario, I unscrew the things that I got attached and slide it over. I don't think I'm going to need to, but that's the worst case. But uh, if you're putting one of these next domes together, uh, it's not solid, solid yet because it's not bolted down and the dome's not on. Uh, but the door is very difficult to do by yourself. And I have to play with this. I'm not, I'm not real happy with the seal. I got to double check. Maybe I don't have that on correctly. I, the only thing I can think of is I'm supposed to put it on this. But that's not what the picture shows. And the other possibility is I have it backwards. But the problem comes when you go around the corners, you got these, when you go around the bends in the door, you got these ripples. I don't know if you can really see it, maybe from the top. But see, you got these ripples. So when you close the door, there's gaps. Now that pulls a little tighter when you latch it. And uh, it might just be might just be a breaking thing, but that's something I gotta look into. Let me block this back open. Kind of windy out here. Um, otherwise, everything went well with this, with one exception, the bay itself. These screw holes here don't line up. I tried three or four different ways of connecting this, put that in the front, that in the back. No, but this is as close as I could get it. And they do not line up. I'm not too concerned about it. It's pretty solid. They got screws in the the back back here that hold it in place. Um, 
this gap here, there's a this thing inside here goes in the center, and that that'll push that out. I'm not that'll close that out. That gap is only temporary. But other than that, I got to go to the hardware store. And I got to get screws so I can attach this down because it is kind of windy, and I don't want it blowing away overnight. Uh, and we'll go from there. So the way this works. This is, quote, an eight-foot dome. Uh, I don't want to badmouth next dome. <laughs> they call it an eight-foot dome. It's actually only a seven-foot dome. It's seven foot from inside to inside and seven foot uh, four from outside to outside. So I'm not sure why they call it an eight-foot dome. Because technically, it's not an eight-foot dome. Maybe I'm. Maybe they're talking the height. That could be it. Maybe after you put the dome on, it's eight foot high. That's probably it. I would have liked. I thought all along the width this way was eight foot. So don't make that mistake. It's only seven foot. Not that that's a big deal for me. That's still plenty of room. Um, it just screwed me up when I was started centering this because I was measuring for eight foot, and I said, "Well, that's not right." Because it was really offset. So the way it works, um, I, I did some figuring. This is an eight, eight, eight inch pier. So I subtracted four inches from center. So each one of my frames needs to be 39 inches from the edge of the pier. So that's how I'm going to do it. Uh, I'm going to get those screws. I'm going to measure one at a time, 39 inches push and pull as I need to as I go around, anchor it down, and then uh, that theoretically should be round. Uh, you want it as round as possible, obviously, for the dome uh, rotation. If it's not round, it's, it could cause an issue, of course. But that's a rather long video. But uh, otherwise, pretty satisfied. It's solid. Um, there are some gaps. I think that's more for the deck. I don't know. Seems like each one of the edges has some gapping. Um, it's not too bad. I'll, I'll probably just seal around it a little bit. I am going to put, like some, I said, some, some uh, outdoor carpet or something inside here with a rubber mat under it. We'll figure something out, but... Um, we'll cut that out and cover this up. So far, I'm very happy with it. A lot of work. I didn't mention the time. The door in the in the bay took me almost three hours by myself. It was uh, time intensive. I will I will say this too. Next um, I don't know if they listen. The, the latch. It's. And of course, it's not bolted down, so it's hard to do at the moment. It's not bad, but that latching mechanism is not going to make somebody or keep somebody from stealing. As you can see, it's, they want the screws on the outside now. Yeah, if I tried to unscrew it, I tested it. The bolts spin on the inside, so that's a good design. The nuts on the back of that, and it's hard to see. I apologize, the sun angles are terrible, but there's bolts on the other side of this. If you're trying to screw that from the outside, uh, these screws here, it spins. So, it's just, it, I would say it's a way of slowing down somebody from wanting to get inside. I'm going to have a camera on it anyway, so I don't really care. If I'll, I'll see what's going on. Um, but don't expect that latch to keep some someone from getting in your next in your dome if they really wanted to um, and that's probably common sense anyway there's only plastic if they really wanted to get into it they could but uh, not bad though I'm, I'm very happy with it um, I may end up putting some other kind of securing device on this door I haven't decided yet We'll see how solid everything is once 
the dome's in place. That's that's what's going to keep it. You see it wobbles now, but again, it's not bolted down to the floor, and the dome's not on. Once that's in place, it'll be much more secure. But overall, pretty good. Okay, sorry, it's a 10-minute video, a lot longer than I wanted to go. Bye.